Tesla has a simple yet effective lineup, each of their cars having a specific reason to be on their website. But what are the crucial differences between them? Hopefully this video makes that clear so you know which one to buy or you can just learn about the lineup. Starting with the Model S, Tesla's first major car, apart from the Roadster, which is a whole nother video. This car came out in 2012. Yes, that long ago. But we're not here to talk about that version, we're here to talk about the 2024 version. So, Tesla's Model S is one of their fastest cars, with top speeds of 200 miles per hour and an acceleration of less than 2 seconds. Its range is up to 405 miles, making this car the beast of the Tesla cars. From the exterior of this car, you can see that it's definitely got a sporty and fast look. Definitely has a need for speed. Something I love about Teslas is their minimalistic approach to their designs, including the Model S dashboard. So what you can see is the steering wheel and the 17-inch screen. That is all there is there. And this 17-inch screen is motorized, so you can choose to have it showing to the left, right, or as it is on the center. All the Model S seats are heated and ventilated, as well as the steering wheel. Speaking of the steering wheel, the Model S has the option for a different type of steering wheel, which is quite controversial, although in my opinion, it's not too bad. Apart from having to pay an extra $1,000 for, yeah, I don't think that's happening. Another feature that the Tesla has is active noise cancellation. Being an electric car, it's already quite quiet, and now they've added active noise cancellation by using microphones on the outside to then give you opposite waves so that you have even quieter experience. The Model S also has a 22 speaker sound system, which sounds incredible, and with the active noise cancellation sounds even better. Something that all Teslas have in their interior is a panoramic glass roof, which allows the area to feel a lot more open and spacious even if the car's smaller. Something else that the Model S has is backseat wireless chargers. So the passengers sitting at the front are able to charge their phones and the wireless charging pods on all Teslas, but the Model S has these chargers in the back as well, which is a nice addition in my opinion. Speaking of the back seat, there's a 7 inch screen at the back which the passengers at the back can use to control a bunch of different features, as well as watch some YouTube. The Model S's design overall is definitely a sleek and fast design, and Elon himself thinks so, as it's his main car that he currently uses to drive. Another USP of the Tesla could be its acceleration, although I personally think it's the speed and overall premium feel. All of that starting at around $75,000, making it Tesla's second most expensive car. So what is the most expensive? Well, it's larger twin, the Model X. Now, just to save this video from being extremely repetitive, I'll show you on the screen now all the same features as the Model S and main specs that this car has. But what's different about this car? The first thing you notice it is that it's much bigger. And you'd be right, this car seats up to seven people. And the way this car is advertised is for families and larger families to be able to fit more people in the car while still having all that extra space. This car claims to carry up to five thousand pounds and it is the one with the falcon doors now don't diss them they can open in quite tight spaces however i don't really see the point of them as they take quite a while to open and close in those tight spaces that may sound great and you might want to buy this car but this will set you back almost eighty thousand dollars just for the car now before we move on to the model 3 and model y the more budget friendly cars i just want you to remember that the model s and model x have a new screen in front of the steering wheel just remember that it'll make sense one large downside to both of these cars is that they only have a left-hand drive, which is not great for us in the UK. Just a quick disclaimer before moving on, all the specs that I'm saying before and coming up are based off the top spec of each of the cars, so like the Plaid and the Long Range, for example. Let's move on to the more affordable cars, starting with the Model Y. This is Tesla's best-selling car, released in 2020 and becoming the best-selling car in the world, not just electric car, best-selling car in the world in 2023 the first quarter anyway, and also the best-selling car for the entire year in Europe, which is incredible for an electric car. Again, showing the specs on the screen here, you can see that it's not as great as the Model S and X, but it's still not bad by any means. This car has a similar idea to the Model X in the sense that it's a family car, but a cheaper version, which is definitely what helps us sell. But what's actually different about this to the Model S and X? Like, why would you buy the X? Well, there are some things that are removed on this version. Firstly being no active noise cancellation, which isn't a deal breaker for many people. You've got no yoke steering wheel, again, not really a deal breaker. You've got no rear screen, which can be something that some people would want. You've got a smaller screen at the front, and here's when I told you to remember that there's a screen in front of the other ones, because for the Model Y and Model 3, the only screen you have to see any of your driving information is that main screen to your side. But on the Model 3 and Model Y, it's not motorized and it's 15 inches, which means it's only facing that way and you can't choose to move it to the left or right like you can in the other ones. 
even though you've got no screen in front of the steering wheel to see any of your driving information. It has 14 speakers, which is still great, but not as great as the Model S and Model X, which has its 22 speaker system. So to summarize, this car is basically this family budget car, which is why it's done so well. But this car will still set you back $44,000, and that's without any upgrades, including self-driving. So what's the Model 3 got to offer then? Well, it's had some big changes, and I'll get onto those in a second. But for now, let's start with the specs. You can see them on screen now. They are slightly slower again, but not bad by any means. Same as the Model Y, it's got a 15-inch screen, 14 speakers, no active noise cancellation, all for eight grand cheaper than the Model Y, although it still didn't do great. However, Tesla has just upgraded the Tesla as the new codenamed Model 3 Highland, which is just replacing the old version. And isn't actually called the Highland, that was just the codename. But anyway, the point is that this car's had a major upgrade. First thing being the exterior, which has had some minor tweaks to be a lot more aerodynamic, which has helped to increase the range. Additionally, on the outside, you've got better suspension, so the driving experience will feel a lot better. Then you've also got soundproof glass, which goes all around the car, as well as materials that are more premium on the inside, which feel nicer, and reduce the sound by up to 20 to 30%. This makes the car experience so much better already. Now, we've also got upgraded LED lighting. So you've got an LED strip, which you can see during the day and at night, which you can customize the color for. It's a bit small, but I think that's the right size so that it's not too tacky and just like an extra feature they've added on. The Model 3 also has an upgraded rear screen, just like the Model S and Model X, which you can use to watch YouTube on and maybe subscribe to me so I can finally get monetized. Please. And this car, all for eight grand less than the Model Y, makes this car so much more premium for a much cheaper price. I think this could be Tesla's next best-selling car. But we're expecting a lot of changes to the lineup. Tesla just announced that they're gonna have a new $25,000 starting price for a car, which is gonna be incredible. So make sure you subscribe to see that. And the Model 3 would have been called the Model E, but because of copyright reasons, Tesla couldn't do it, which means that name was child-friendly by accident. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.